I think people are kidding themselves if they think that um, bullying doesn't exist in their school. It ex exists everywhere and one of the things I think is most important as a school is teaching life skills and relationships and getting on with people. We've been involved with the Diana Award for three years now and every year it is getting better and better. At the training day last year we did um, lots of team building exercises. It made an impact. It made me realise why I should be doing this. It was really eye-opening because it just showed me and all the other people from Shelbrook how helping people can actually make you feel really good and make them feel really good and it was just a really good day. I wasn't even too sure what bullying really was in the wider sense so it was nice to work with children of like other ages, work together, discuss what we thought bullying meant and then find out what it actually was and all the different types of bullying. The training day enabled me to be able to get better understanding from people that have had more experience than I have and to know how to deal with things in a professional manner. And when I've seen other people being bullied, um, you can see their confidence drop really quickly as they go from being someone who's lovely, bright, happy, to being someone who's afraid to be who they are and nobody should feel like that, nobody should be afraid to be an individual. Within all the elements of PSHE, they can, you can be bullied about absolutely everything. And actually the best solution to things like bullying is by the people who experience it themselves and that's why we've tried to empower our young people. My name's Charlie, formerly known as Scarlet because I am a transgender person and we're tackling homophobia in schools but we also need to tackle transphobia which is prejudice against people who are transgender or transsexual. Um, I was scared of what reaction I would get, though thankfully the reception I've got was overwhelmingly positive, though other people aren't so lucky, which is unfortunate. And that's because some of the previous schools I had weren't as uh, open-minded, but this school is a lot different than them. So these ambassadors are dealing with all elements of PSHE, bringing it together to make sure that all individuals remain unique and true to themselves. They don't have to change to be like anybody else. They are just who they are and proud of who they are. I just think every school should get an anti-bullying group, corporation, union, ambassadors, because the longer you wait to do this, then the more children that are going to pass by the system, and the more children that are going to get bullied and affected and the more children they get passed by, the more pain in the world that has just been released. Well, one of the things that really started to annoy me is just the, the language that was being used and the, the use of the term gay as, an, as a, a term of insult. When I came out to my sisters, one of them was completely fine with it, um, but the younger sister, she saw the word gay in quite a negative context. She, she didn't understand it, she didn't see how her brother could be this, this thing that, that the playground had created through sort of negative language, use of, you know, that's so gay and things like that. The head teacher started to realise the problem that there was as well. He sort of saw that it was a much bigger problem than he even realised was going on. We thought, well look, if we do think that this is important, there is really only one way that we can get that across and we need to say it and we need to be very clear on what we mean and very clear about our expectations about what is acceptable here and what's not. So he invited us um, onto the broadcast and we went on and me and Cleo, we just started talking and people started to realise after that broadcast that the language they were using was unacceptable. They started to realise that it, it was something that they could really change um, to try and make it better for pupils at the school and the head teacher saw this as a really important thing as well. We are living in a digital age with media and so on and we, we do have a broadcast system here which means we can get right in uh, on key issues very quickly and get that across to everybody. Um, but it also means that it's not just one person's opinion. You can hear lots of different people. You can hear the students, you can hear the staff, and people will sit up and hopefully sit up and take notice. So like no one really knew about LGBT, but like now like Connor's story was on like the broadcast. Everyone's like aware of it. Because before, like people would just say stuff and they wouldn't really think. But now because they've heard someone's story from inside the school, like, everyone's just more aware. So the aim of the Forum Theatre was to get together uh, students and teachers alike to first of all talk about bullying and the bullying that we experience at school, to then put it into a theatre piece, to then perform it to the Year 10s, to students and to parents. Breathe. Okay, good. 
How do you think that person feels? Um, there's a few ways out of cyberbullying. You can block people and you can talk to other people and there's other ways to report it. I think that the people that are passing it on are just as bad as the people that shared it in the first place. So next time, think about it before you send it. So it stopped all the way along um, and they, it was good to see the year 10s actually getting involved and saying, actually, yes, what we're watching is wrong. This bullying shouldn't be happening. After the training day, the first thing we did was rewrite the anti-bullying policy because it was really long and no one really wanted to read it. So we've made five points. So one of the most recent things we've done is making the five point charter. We came up with five really powerful points on the charter to sort of globalize anti-bullying throughout the school. This class thinks it's important to treat each other fairly. This class thinks everyone should report bullying. This class thinks social networks should be used to spread positivity. This class thinks we should choose our words carefully. This class thinks we should channel our efforts into something worthwhile. And this has become our charter. I think it's really powerful to get the students to be thinking rather than having a teacher or an ambassador hold their hand the whole time, telling them off when they're naughty. It's giving them the resource to then make the right choice and telling them what this is what we want, these are our rules we need to follow. We have a Facebook page, uh, we use it to let the community, let the students, let the staff know exactly what's going on. The students are learning lessons inside of school, but not only learning inside of school, they are taking those lessons out into the community, online, and they are dealing with everything with an element of integrity that makes me very, very proud of who they are.